Have you ever wondered what the fish are eating? Well, here is a surefire way to find out exactly what they want. It's a little gross, but watch this. Just like that, keep going. He's almost done. Right. Right. Oh, look at that. Catching fish down here at Flagler Beach. Just reeled these guys in. Didn't even have a GoPro on yet. We got a sand sea trout and a really nice whiting. I'll get this guy off first because we're keeping the whiting and this guy is going back. There you go, bud. Look at this guy. Sweet baby Jesus. He is awesome. Okay, dude. Oh, look at that. 13. Actually, he's close. He's he's about 14 inches. Beautiful, beautiful whiting out here at Flagler Beach today. It's going in the bucket. For those of you who don't know, we actually sell our t-shirts and the tank tops that you see me fishing in. Ladies in our group that are telling me that this is the most comfortable shirt that they wear. They wear it all the time. They buy more because it's super comfortable. It keeps you cool in the summer and it keeps you warm in the winter but it's a very soft material. It's got our Fishing Girl logo. If you like what we're doing and you want to support it, then consider buying one of our t-shirts. It's going to help us out a lot. But here's back to our video. So I'm going to show you how to make a simple Carolina rig. So I've got this two-aught hook, and I did a simple snell on there. What you do is you bring the line through the loop, hold down the back, then just loop it around about eight times and then bring that line back up through the loop, tighten it, and then clip the end. That's really all there is to it. And then I'm just gonna put this, uh, this swivel on the other end. I don't usually use Carolinas because the surface is too rough to, to do them. Because what I'm gonna do is this two ounce sinker is gonna be on the other end. Then I'm just doing a little clinch knot here, tighten it down, clip off the tag end. Sorry, my scissors look terrible. I've already been using them a ton today. And uh, the reason I don't want to use a Sputnik is because this line will get all tangled up in the legs of the Sputnik and it's just going to be a tangled mess. You can put the sinker on your main line so that it's not here with the swivel, but I'm doing it this way. I'm going to put a big piece of shrimp on here actually because this is what this guy said they were biting on the other day. Big shrimp, big whiting, big shrimp. Right out there, about 20 yards in. See what happens. It's pretty loose, but yeah, I saw it getting tugged. So I'm getting tension on there. And then you're just gonna take out, you can... No, this is the way you okay, use your right hand. Oh. You use your right hand for the power to pull. Oh, there we go. He's not too bad. I've, I've caught much smaller before. All right. Awesome. There we go, smile. This is circle hook, so we're doing a reverse motion, circular motion, and that gets it right out of the mouth. Fortunately, it was just right in the corner of his mouth. Let me get the tension up for you. And, and then... No, it's right-handed. You might have more power. Right yeah, you just want to hold it up here a little higher, then you'll have more power. I know, it's, it feels backwards <laughs> if you're used very to. Backwards. And what I do is I rest the end of it right on my thigh. Yeah, that, I was say, that's what I need more than out. Yeah. And it's a little more comfortable. There you go. Some helps rest it on my thigh tremendously. Yeah. Nice job. Awesome. Yeah, that's about maybe a little bigger than the other one. All right, guys. So you're going to grab him kind of right behind the eyes because he's real slimy, real slippery. And then take this hook about here and then you're going to be kind of twisting it backward. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty slimy. All right. Yeah, just like that. Keep going. He's almost out of it. There you go. I'm going to tighten it and reel it slowly because it's rocking a little bit. But it wasn't really, really. And while we wait on that one, let's tighten this one. It's kind of loose. We'll keep watching that one. You know, yep, it's Something's pulling at it. Let me see if I can get get the hook set on whatever's playing with it. And when I feel it on there, I'll hand it off. Keep tension on the line. 
and you're going to want to reel it as quickly as you can to keep that sinker up. Keep it going. Yeah, we got something on there. It's another whiting. That actually is, I don't, I think it's pretty good because they look tiny from far away, but the closer they get, that's not too bad. So you're going to grab them behind the eyes, like right here behind and a good grip on him because he's pretty slimy and, and he's going to turn wanna, which way? You're going to want to like, this way? yeah, kind of reverse the circle in that circle hook. Yeah. Look how easy that was. Good job. That's easier than the five. ride. The <laughs> All right, Tracy's reeling. We had to finally got a hit. You feel it fighting? Hopefully not. I don't know. We we thought that about the other ones, right? And right up toward the beach, you started feeling it again. There you go. Nice. That's a really good one. Nice, that's a big one. Keep going up. Um, you can, yeah, I usually go all the way up just so it's easier. There's other organs and stuff up in that area. Look how full his stomach is. All right, this hard as a rock. <laughs> really? Oh my gosh, what's in there? Go ahead. We'll okay, people, that. we're going to let you see what's in this biting stomach. Oh, <laughs> my God, it's a whole fish in here, Claude. Oh, it's a whole mullet head. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> he must have eaten that off of somebody else's line or just wow. unless there's because oh, I don't see. think there's that mullet in this. That was sir. inside his stomach. That was in his stomach. Wow. It was probably already it looked like it was already starting to get acids and stuff. Affecting mm -mm. it. I had a feeling that you were going to find a fish in there. Wow. Okay. That's, that is wild. So in that video, you saw something kind of gross, but it's a very true way to find out what the fish are actively eating right now. Uh, I lost the footage on a GoPro where I was talking with my clients about how to do this, but while you're gilling and gutting your fish, you might as well open up the stomach of the fish and look at the contents. Now, I've been out fishing and opened up the stomach of a whiting and saw a bunch of shells in there. So I knew that using, um, say, the uh, coquina clam or whatever type of clam fish bites that matches up with the colors of the shells I was seeing was gonna be very effective. So we would switch to that bait and boom, start catching fish even more than we were before. I've never seen a part of a mullet head in a whiting. We were packing up and getting ready to leave soon, so I didn't get a chance to test that one out. But if I was staying longer, you know I would have been putting a mullet head on a line. Uh, maybe that Carolina rig that I showed earlier in the video and saw what we would get with that. But I hope that is a helpful tip for you to know uh, when you're catching fish out there. Look at what's in that fish's stomach and start using that to bait with and I bet you'll be catching more fish. So leave a comment if you've tried this and it worked. Uh, leave a comment if you have other tips and, and tricks to help other anglers. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you who watch the channel. Don't forget to check out our website for those t-shirts and all of the other products that we're selling. And for now, tight lines. God bless and we'll see you.